Hello, letter, word, line, stanza, and poem patrons. Welcome. My name is Jennifer Jean. I'm recording on September 11th. Today I'm going to be talking about How Briefly the Body, a poem by Chelsea Dingman, which is in her fabulous, and I'm not saying that lightly. I really mean fabulous and amazing and all the synonyms. Her fabulous new book, Through a Small Ghost, here it is, uh, a collection which explores mourning a stillborn baby and the challenges which that brings uh, to a whole family. So what I'm going to do to talk about the poem is I'm going to read it first, and then we'll take a look at what makes the poem so amazing and heartrending. And especially I want to go over the way that Chelsea uses enjambment because she's a genius at that. Enjambment is my favorite thing in poetry. Uh, and she just nails it and it drives uh, the point and theme and topic, whatever you want to call it, the aboutness of her poem, drives that home. Okay, so I'm not going to show you the poem on the screen to begin with. I'll show that after. I'm just going to read it so you can have an audio experience. How Briefly the Body by Chelsea Dingman. How Briefly the Body is a story where everything matters, even its name. The oaks outside dip and dangle in the wind. Sun dapples deep green leaves ripe with spring rain. But in the body, I am a transient. I've had a host of women's names kneel down inside me. When I can't name the reasons I listen to rain fill me like words on a page, the body is a story of devotion. It knows the cost of moving into mourning asking to be spared nothing. I asked only to be alive, but I can't know where I'll find climax or if denouement looks like my mother kneeling as she asks for bare skin to enter like the first bars of a hymn. In the body, all things have an end. I can't yet know how it is to enter mourning and be left with myself. Every story I've known carried off like tree pollen in the white spring wind, but I enter, however, briefly, asking nothing. So that just knocks me out. Uh, I'm sure it's knocking you out too. It's, uh, I can feel even like a little bit of a choke up going on. Um, she doesn't address what she's mourning directly, but, but you can feel it. It's, it's everywhere in the poem and it's everywhere when you listen, but also when you look at it. So I'm going to show you all briefly her poem on the page. Okay, there it is with all my notes. Notice I put at the top, awesome poem, because it is. Uh, yeah, I, I had so much to say. In fact, even as I was reading it aloud, I, there are things that I left out that, that aren't here. So I'm going to have to spend more time with this poem. But before I continue, if you're watching on YouTube, please take time now to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell below. As well, please know that the bulk of this video, in fact, the rest of this video and other poetry related content is available to my patrons on my Patreon page and will soon be available as well on my locals page. On YouTube, in the description below, you can find links to my Patreon, Twitter, Instagram, and website. On Instagram, you can find links to all of these things in my bio. 